2019 World Economic Forum on Africa kicked off yesterday morning. And let's get an update now on the latest uh, SABC Business News anchor Nzinga Tunta is in Cape Town. Nzinga? Very good morning to you, Sakina and Leanne. We are still at the World Economic Forum meetings, which are taking place in Cape Town. And for more on what's been taking place and what's still to come, I'm joined by Lindy Wemazibuko from A Political Academy. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News this morning. Talk to us about the sessions you attended yesterday and what you got from them. So I was on a panel discussion yesterday um, about women in public leadership and in leadership in the private sector. Um, and given the position we find ourselves in as South Africans, it was actually a very important conversation um, because although we know as countries and as societies that having more women on boards and more women in leadership is good for us, to be a patriarchal problem with seeing women in power. So we had a very important, I think, discussion in the context of the sexual violence debate uh, conversation about that and about what the barriers are to getting more women into leadership to try and curb some of these major social challenges that we're facing. Um, and then I also participated, or I led a session with the Global Shapers, who are a community of city-based uh, young people, uh, change makers within the community of the World Economic Forum. Um, so we at A Political Academy are always engaging organizations that uh, care about the future of leadership and encouraging young people to run for office, to serve in government, um, to be part of the change in the society that they want to see. So we had a very good and I think very important discussion uh, about the wide-ranging issues that are, are taking place in countries around Africa and what young people running for office and serving in government can do to affect change in these spaces. What have your experiences been, particularly in leadership roles, and what lessons <coughs> would you then take forward today and tomorrow at the World Economic Forum that you'd want to share with people? Well, I, you know, I would like to hope that the World Economic Forum, although it is a meeting of international um, business people, governments, um, social organizations, and so forth, um, I, I, I hope that it would take the lead from the public mood at the moment, uh, from the conversation that we're having about gender-based violence, from the conversation that we're having um, about whether or not uh, people from other African countries feel adequately uh, welcome or decently treated in South Africa. And it's been good to see that delegates have been engaging that conversation, that even as we talk about the economy, even as we talk about leadership and society, um, the events that are taking place around us are being allowed to be a part of that debate so that we are not such, at such a remove from what is happening in our own society. Lindy Wemazibuko from A Political Academy, thanks so much for your time on SABC News this morning. It's time for a short break. We will continue keeping you updated on the World Economic Forum throughout the day to stay with us on SABC News.